Hi, I'm Phyllis Guest. I'm with the Environmental Health Department. And I'm here at the Buchanan Farm talking about uh, chicks that just hatched a week ago. Uh, we have some beautiful chicks. They're all different sizes and different kinds. Um, and what we're going to talk about is how to properly handle a chick. The best way to handle a chick is to have the feet between the fingers and cuddling the chick, leaving it a wide open hand. They tend to want to jump out or walk out of your hand. The important thing about handling a chick is you need to wash your hands after handling them because uh, chicks and chickens can have salmonella. And so looking at a chick or a chicken, you wouldn't know that they have salmonella. Um, but uh, as a precaution, you should always wash your hands with soap and water. Um, these chicks are only a week old, so they don't have very many feathers. They're, they're just their little uh, chick feathers, but they do start growing their uh, longer feathers that keep them warm when they're adults. How long have you taken care of chicks and chickens? Uh, well, I had chickens and chicks um, when my children were young, um, and we were teaching them a little bit about how to handle and how to uh, take care of animals. And uh, then uh, I think would say in the last uh, Seven, last seven years, I've had uh, chickens uh, for, of my own uh, that I take care of and handle. I've had a lot of different breeds. Uh, I always stick with just one breed. I don't have a mixed breed like they have it here at Buchanan Farm. What about handling uh, eggs? Oh, yes, that's correct. Eggs um, tend to have um, the, the poop and things like that on it. <laughs> uh, so uh, you uh, definitely need to make sure you're washing your hands after collecting the eggs too. Uh, eggs have to be refrigerated if you actually wash them in the water and take clean them off that way. If you don't have, uh, don't aren't going to wash them, they can stay on the shelf. Uh, and they come out fairly clean from the chick, chicken and uh, they have a, a secretion on the shell that keeps them protected so that they can stay in the environment. Good. Um, is there anything else you think people should know about handling chicks this spring? Uh, don't get more chicks than you can handle. Um, I know some people, they, they want to get chicks and uh, you have to take into consideration the housing for them. Uh, and uh, making sure you have plenty of food and water. I have 10 chickens and I have to a uh, five gallon trough of food once a week. Uh, I also have the same amount of water. It's better for fresh water, clean and fresh water for them. So take that in consideration when you're looking at chicks is how many you're getting that you can handle. Uh, you also need to make sure that you have a heat lamp. It's very important for chicks to have a heat lamp. Uh, they don't have those long feathers to keep them warm, so the heat lamp is what keeps them uh, warm and dry. Uh, keeping them inside is not a good idea because uh, they they kick up a lot of dust and create a lot a big mess in the the area. So it's better to have them in like a shed or a garage or something like that. Nice. Well, thank you so much, You're Phyllis. Welcome.